In years past, a summer song from Jimmy Buffett suggested carefree days under the palm trees with refreshing tropical breezes. This summer, not so much, as we hear from Tracy Smith. For any of the past 40 summers, you could find Jimmy Buffett standing on a stage somewhere, playing with his coral reefer band. As the son of a son of a sailor, I went out on the sea for adventure. I'm still the son of a son, son of a son, son of a son of a sailor. Of course, this year he's stuck at home, as high and dry as the rest of us. You've been talking about taking a summer off for what, 40 years now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't quite what I had in mind, Tracy. I, but you know, what's a make make lemonade out of lemons? So, the interesting thing is, with all of the tragedy and the serious things that are going on, there are I, you know having to deal with it. And I talked to a lot of the people. You find some silver linings in all this, and that's what we're doing for family and for band. How you like it so far? Huh? So here's how he's been using some of his time in quarantine doing online concerts, often for first responders. There are ships on my horizon and a beach always nearby. You know, historically, you think about it, in times like this, you still have to have a little fun. You still have to have a rest from what's going on. And I knew that that was the case because a lot of healthcare workers, doctors, and I know for a long time have used my music in operating rooms and emergency rooms to calm down. And lately, he's been able to share new music. His just released album, Life on the Flip Side, is already getting rave reviews for its good time anthems. And songs like this. Out here conflict and chaos completely subside. I'm steering back to where I come from. Back to slack tide. A slack tide is that moment just before the tide turns, when the water's calm and the world seems to take a beat. Turn our feet into flippers, have some trauma fun. There's something about the natural process of the world and the universe that allows you the time to kind of take a breath. And it seems that a lot of people aren't doing that now. And if you just, it's not that you got to solve every problem or like everything everybody else does, but everybody needs to take a little breath. And that's one of the underlying messages in these songs. I wish the whole wide world could swim along. It's like time. The song was written well before the current political storm, but it seems all the more appropriate now. It's like time. Beautiful. Thank you so much. That's the first time I've done that in public. <laughs> oh, seriously? That's awesome. I thought that'd be a good one for Sunday morning. I quite agree. That was beautiful. Thank you. Let's go back a little bit. This is your first new album in seven years. Now, I know what you've been doing part of those past seven years because I was with you for part of it. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah. And this is what took up so much of his time. Welcome to our very first rehearsal for Escape to Margaritaville. A Broadway musical, Escape to Margaritaville. You never know what the public's going to buy, but... I'd, I'd jump out of the door on this airplane and see what happens. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Leap in the net will appear, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Last time I talked to you, that was launching? Yep. How'd it go? It was five years in the making to get to Broadway. We had a successful run. We'd have liked to have been there longer, but the good thing is it had an audience out in the country, and so we were on a two-year tour of the show. <laughs> It was doing great when we had to shut down. So that's what was going on for about five of those years uh, when people thought I was just kind of laying in the hammock. No, <laughs> I, was, I was working. She didn't look like she was going to work, did she? I'm know. not sure. Yeah. It depends on what kind of work it is, right? Uh, well, in this town, God knows. It seems he's always been working. Jimmy Buffett has been going nonstop for most of his adult life. Hitting up 
to San Francisco. Since his days as a young street performer in New Orleans' French Quarter, as he told us back in 2017. Do you think there would be a Jimmy Buffett if there wasn't a New Orleans? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> I don't think there ever would have been. I mean, uh, those years being here really were formative years for me, and it made me better professional player so that I thought I could make that leap. I mean, this was like training ground for all of that. Now, that's, a, that's an interesting question, because I think, no, it probably would not have happened. And now, more than 50 years later, he's still in the game but he does acknowledge that there's a finish line ahead. Throughout your career, a lot of your songs have also dealt with very serious subjects. You've talked a lot about mortality, and on this album, you talk about mortality. Yeah, Do you yeah. think about that a lot? You know, there, there's an end coming up there. At 73, you know, I look ahead at people that I know now. We just lost one who was, who was a dear friend and a great inspiration, Carl Reiner at 98. That's who I look at up there. And then I look at the 80-year-olds that are still doing it. And I look at the late 70-year-olds that are still doing it. So that's who I'm watching. Wasting away the I like that place. Working seems to be the magic elixir when you are lucky enough to be an entertainer or do things that you can still do at that age. Some people play. But if anything, this is all Huntley's fault. It seems Jimmy Buffett is getting better with age. I don't know the reason. There's no telling when his diehard fans, the Parrot Heads, will hear this song in person again. But Jimmy says that as soon as it's safe to go back in the water, he's going to jump in with both feet. Some people may. crowds? Yes. <laughs> I miss it a lot. There's really nothing like it. I mean, we're not putting the book on the shelf yet. And, you know, there will be an end to this that, that we know. And uh, I plan to be there. And as I tell everybody, that show, whenever it is and wherever it is, that's going to be one hell of a show. And then we're just going to keep going. <laughs>